So our penetration was like, hey, I automatically crit. Let's make it crit even harder. Again, getting a bit faster timing, but we're not seeing the teleport from Darshan here. He's gonna trying laser. to stay in range. I did not think that was going to kill him. I apologize. That was terrible on me. I thought he was going to get away. No. But flash forward. How? It just seems so easy for them. Who he had no nothing to do. Yeah. If he can keep pressuring this, and it's going to be the comeback attack. No flash. There's the field. He actually shifts out of it immediately. Who he could really keep himself alive here, but he stays in for too many autos, knowing Xmithy and Aphromoo are just around the bend, trying to clean up a kill of their own. And the assist nice. could be huge. It's going to be the meep coming through to get a bop on the rain over. They do get the one kill on the assist goal to who he finally. Already on his way and Pope Belter pops the ghost because he thinks that he's the one that's going to get engaged on. But ooh, after a little bit too far forward here. He's Look, using the minions. He's looking for a stun point. He's got the minion cavalry. Darshan, oh, oh Darshan. He tried to use him as the meat shield. Darshan as well stepped in front to try and take it. He parries back to turtle. Oh. Very nice repost, and they're going to be able to get Turtle hit with the turret, but he stays alive. Now down to Stixay in the bottom. It is mayhem for Counterlogic Gaming right now. They're going down across the board. Huhi looks to pick one up, shifts in, but now doesn't have a cap closer, and Turtle may be able to just walk out of this one. Throws his flash down just to be sure, and Huhi now gets back and roams lane to lane to find himself picking up nothing. Three levels down. Your turret's going down right. faster than turret on the opposite side of the map. Oh. Oh, he goes back in. Oh, the flash. Emperor's Divide actually does not come out there in the right direction. Nicely done by Poe Belter to get himself out of the way. Be a big problem. He checks it. Oh, frozen tomb to start off. Darshan's actually going to say, yeah, you want to take a little bit of the fight? I have somebody behind me. And he does kind of get the mind game on Huni. Huni's right to go back. Xmithy was a bit off. But it was definitely Darshan trying to press his left on that one. Grand Challenge is down. I don't think they're gonna be able to get the death on Huni. Quickly flashes himself out of that one. Nice try by Xmithy though. CLG is really trying to get their hands dirty here, even though they know they're behind and they're actually still trying to get that over to Darshan. They actually might just flat out lose this top turret. Well, things look like they're almost going good in the bot lane. Things are going bad in mid. Can CLG turn this one around? They do. Quite a few resources to take down Pobelter, but it's much needed breathing room on the map. Really interesting he thing here is that that cull from Wild Turtles very close to paying off, so it's just another advantage going out for them. Kind of to thin the wave out here and do a little bit of damage. Nobody was low. And Huhi off on the side, though, or Huni off on the side, looking for a kill. Rainover had already left that position, but Huni, he's ready to fight 2v1. And Wild Turtle firing the Essence Barrage, or True Shot Barrage, just to say, over the shoulder of Huni to pick himself up a kill. The Gragas ultimate, the Emperor's Divide, and maybe a Temper's Fate to start it off could be what they need. Here they try that pressure on mid again. For Stixay. Mortals is ready. Chaos Storm goes out. The flash in from Rain over, and they find Stixay. We talked a bit about that little immobility on Jin, and it does cost him his life. That's going to be a double kill now. On to Huhi. Aphromu very low, looking for a binding on the backside. Oh, is oh, staying another. in, trying to do what he can for the team, but it just keeps him in range for Poe Belter. Turtle, Arcane shifts in, goes for another one as the grand challenge is still on him. And they're able to take down Adrian as a trade back. Turtle on the side of the base he usually is with about a few hundred health, yeah, playing there. crazy. The Rain. shell is on, so he's safe. Rain over is going to be a bro. And the highest person on CLG is 6,600. We'll see how it plays out. Frozen Tomb goes down. Grand Challenge has time a bit to wear off. Can he get the other side of it? Can he get one more dash? Oh, in? The has the mana, and he 1v1 Tooney down. He's going to decimate CLG. Whoa. Like that. You don't say. Yeah. You and don't. it gets to run with him, and it's a little bit faster than him, too, even with Ghost on. Oh. I think there was a Mountain Drake that Condologic Gaming was able to pick up throughout this, but oh, this is very, very big. Turtle. Nice hit. That Meep was able to connect. They also grab the barrel as Turtle can't dodge left or right quick enough. They clean one up, but CLG is repairing right now. This is large rod, my bad. It's okay. I forgive you. I don't play mages. Oh, history repeating itself here in the bot lane. Frozen Tomb onto himself. And it looks like it may not be enough. A quick W. He's got flash. And a claw out. Huni's flash Ooh. is down, but he doesn't decide to go for it under the turret. Too much slow, too much control from that Lissandra. Yeah, Darshan to wanted to flash and get that vital, and he's oh. going to go for it anyway. He goes under the turret. Can he get him when he's by it? Oh, the potion. Not quick enough. CLG 
playing this game like there was never any deficit in the early game. Going hard on Rain over here. Is there a follow-up on Smithy's ultimate? He's looking to displace the team. Maybe Adrian first. Pole Belter oh. right around the back. He's able to just walk up. There should be a front line, but CLG is so focused on these kills, they're leaving everything behind them open. There's nobody to save the squishies, and Pole Belter's gonna take full advantage of that along with the rest of the team. This could be an ace onto CLG, but Darshan coming from the base will not allow that to happen. It's not possible, but Immortals, the possibility for Baron is very real now. Uh-oh, just in the bottom left cam, we see Aphromu having some trouble. The flash out, Huni actually just got that flash back up. They have Huni, who's favored those carries, but he can do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but he can't do that. He will be one of the guys to try and do it and sometimes get himself in a sticky situation. 50 seconds on the clock for him that time for getting his hands a little too dirty. Darshan not starting this fight, does not have the upper hand when Huni comes in with the damage first. And it looks like the grand challenge is up, but he cannot challenge. We see Stixe going down to the other side oh. of the map. Who he will get himself a quick clock kill. Yeah. I can only shield you. Please don't play like this. They're going to head to the mid lane. Seems like that's where most of Immortals' pressure is as Xmithy tries to put up a wall of defense with the rest of the members. Yeah, Rainover does take up that turret, though. And Huni, yep. Hits and runs. He's been doing that all game long. They saw Darshan get Huni twice, and they said, we actually need to make more pressure. We'll see this kill one more time. Ooh, too far forward there, and Wild Turtle just combos him down. The worry is if they don't close it soon. How are they using this gold lead? Darshan's gonna be attacked as the claw from Huni oh. could put him to safety. Remember that flash is down from the last engage, but does he actually make it last long enough for the team to get here? They do, and Darshan is running the wrong way as he also goes down in the fight, trying to get back onto Huni. Immortals now with just about free reign in the base. It's only Xmithy, Huhi, and Stixe with the say. Yeah, and they're pushing the bottom side as well. So if Immortals want to, they can rotate towards the bottom and get another inhibitor because this wave is continuing to be pushed up. And they're trying to make a play. And Burst of I goes through. They should be able to drop Huni. Really, all they lose here, lose here is side pressure. The four members of Immortals are very strong and strong enough to stay in the base. Their confidence deems so as well. And it looks like they're going to put a bid on. Xmithy flashes himself in. He is going for broke on this one with the ultimate. The pushback isn't enough. It doesn't displace enough members of Immortals. And they're still packed together, ready to deliver the power. Now they're going to go into Aphromoo before he can journey safely to the fountain. And now they are looking at the Nexus turrets. Just a little past their second game win of 26 minutes, 30 minutes onto the Nexus turret here. And they are looking to put the final touches on. 27 seconds on to Xmithy. 20 for Afromu. Three members of Counter Logic Gaming doing all they can to deliver enough stopping power to keep the Nexus alive against Immortals. And so far, they're able to deter them enough. The four members of Immortals cannot break through just yet. And it looks like defense of Afromu will be here. However, CLG's base is turning into shambles. Exactly. They're pinging towards the top lane now. Immortals, they want to take this Huni TPs back in. And here comes Rainover as well with the ultimate. They're looking for the end. Huni flying straight in. Rainover's already there. Grand challenge onto him, but they can't get the rest of the challenge down. He stays alive, and so does the challenge. Now from Immortals to CLG. Will you be able to stop us in one of our final pushes? As CLG and Immortals go for broke, it's going to be in the favor of Immortals. They will not go down in this series. And it is the bloodbath to end it all. 26 to 9, 30 minutes in. Immortals take the series over Counter Logic Gaming.